Welcome to Eat Baila Travel, a channel for foodies, salseros, y aventureros. Today's food vlog will take you to our favorite eats in Querétaro as we discovered them during our one month stay in the city. Let's start with brunch at Cao Cao, a lovely cafe with live music on Sundays and a co-working space for rent during the week for digital nomads. One of our favorite places to work was at Cool y Cool. You're gonna like it. So check this out. It's a great space to come and work. They have some tea, coffee, smoothies, protein shakes. They have both vegan, vegetarian options, and they have lunch options. And then when you go upstairs, there's a whole shop of vegan and organic products. Cool and Cool, which stands for Cultivo y Cultura, their whole concept is Conciencia de Consumo, which stands for consuming consciously, as in sustainably and eco-friendly. It's a great place to come and work and have smoothies with or without protein. There are snacks, there's food, dessert. So we have an apple crisp dessert, a matcha smoothie with protein, and a grasshopper smoothie here too. And yes, there is actual grasshopper. So, in case it's not obvious, we are distinguished members of the Pan Dulce Fan Club. But we also make an effort to eat healthy, which is why when we discovered the Alta Fibra Bakery, we became frequent customers. Now for our favorite tacos and restaurants. The best tacos we had were at Tacos Pampas. Usually, this is a buffet-style restaurant where you can have all the tacos that you can eat for 260 pesos. But due to the pandemic, they have suspended the buffet and you order a la carta instead. This carne al pastor, which is pork, tastes like Thanksgiving ham. It's got like that juicy, like smoky, cinnamon flavor. Oh my god. Ranchera is out of this world. I, I'm very lucky that they don't have the buffet right now because I don't even know how I would control myself. I'm paying 260 pesos for these delicious tacos. The taquero gotta watch out, I might bite him. Tacos El Pata is also really good. What we liked about this place was a buffet of salsa. Gringo del Pastor, Volcán de Sirloin, Otra Gringa del Pastor. Taco de Arrache. I like it. Agua de Rombote, yeah, it's good. She brought the whole tray. She's like, you want all of them? I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> That's yummy. We do this too often. We're really hungry right now, so you're gonna see us eat a lot. <laughs> First of all, I always eat a trombo of a pastor with my eyes. I think it's really good. I think it's a little weird that it's really red, but... So our friends recommended that we come check out La Cabaña del Rio and here we are. Let's see if it meets the expectations that we're hoping for. Damn, what you get? A ranchera burger Jesus. with pineapple. I got me a fourth of a kilo of arrachera. And 
what I like about it so far is that it ah, it smells like it's on mesquite. And look how tender it is. It's medium, nice and medium. Oh my god, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the carne asada that I used to have back at home with my dad. And he would throw it down, so this one's for you, dad. Mm. It's so delicious, so tender. So, so good. If you haven't seen our previous food vlogs before, seafood, mariscos are very important for our diet. So we're here at Megalodon in Querétaro to see if they offer good seafood because if not, we're leaving. We're getting the hell out of Querétaro. And the kitchen's closed. So we're getting the hell out of Querétaro. <laughs> we'll come back. So we came back because we don't like to live with what ifs. And what if it was amazing food? And though it was pretty good and satisfied the craving, it didn't turn out to be a place we want to go back to. It was more expensive than any of the other meals we had. We spent about $35. This has been the most expensive meal. This has been the most expensive meal. Like, but it's good to know that we can treat ourselves to good seafood every once in a while. But we also came to a fancy seafood restaurant, so maybe we can check out all the restaurants. Uh, there's a one called Tampico, I think, that mm -hmm. looks very low key and very delicious. So we're willing to check another place out because we really like Querétaro and we don't want to leave. But like I said, seafood, very important for our diet. We decided to give seafood in Querétaro another shot, this time at Ostioneria Tampico. We were disappointed that they don't sell raw oysters on the half shell, since the word oyster is in their name, but we understand it can be challenging for central states to get fresh seafood. I don't know, but I haven't had a michelada with mariscos in a while. This one is special because it has oysters. It's not a food vlog without some street food, and our friend La Carencita recommended this gordita spot. Querétaro is known for their gorditas, and if you're looking for a typical local dish, this is definitely it. They offer all kinds of guisados to stuff your gorditas with. Our favorite one was definitely the nopales con queso y guacamole. I wish I could give you an address to this gordita spot, but here are the clues on how to get there. It's close to an oxo and next to a tree. Just kidding. The gordita spot is on the corner of Mariano Escobedo and Montes Norte. They are normally there in the evenings. Make sure you don't miss out. The great thing about Querétaro is the ability to satisfy a diverse array of cravings. I miss Oaxaca so much, I might just cry. Like comida oaxaqueña, when you're in the mood for mole or atlayuda. You've never had atlayuda? Please make sure to try one before you die. You look like you're about to cry. Just listen. And last but not least, one of the places not to miss in Querétaro is La Fábrica del Chocolate. They have this amazing tamal de doble chocolate, they have a tamal de plátano con chocolate, churros freshly made, and there's something that we haven't tried that we've been dying to try, and that's the concha rellena de mole. Yep, a concha filled with mole. I don't know what that's gonna be, but let's go try it out. So this is the Santa Mole. You like it? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's so it's like savory and sweet. So you have the concha bread with quesillo, the Oaxacan cheese, 
with mole sauce in the middle and then top with the chocolate sauce. Wow, this is awesome. Mmm. Mmm. Out of all the different mole things I've had, I've never had anything like this. It's so good. Oh my god, it's so cool. I love it. I'm making a mess. <laughs> Yum. I can eat like six of these. Holy cow. Okay, I'm making a mess. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and want to support us, please hit the like button or leave a comment. And special thanks to our patrons whose support help us make these videos possible.